What up, what up? Will here with the Slow Pitch Bat Bros. And today, folks, we have the 2022 240 stamp Mikan DC 41s. Let's get it. All right, folks, a couple absolute beauties here. We've got the long barrel and the short barrel. This is 12 and a quarter inch barrel. This is a 14 inch barrel. And the DC 41s are always going to be a full ounce end load. Last year, we freaking loved. Oh, oh, oh. My oh. Lord these bats but this is the first year ever where we have a short barrel dc 41 and folks i am really hoping that this is gonna kind of bring back some memories of that orange mach one this is a bat with pretty much the same specs it's been a while since i've seen a full ounce end load short barrel besides that a uh, freak 9r josh riley bat but that one broke pretty early on us and the end load was like pretty severely unloaded it almost felt like a two ounce unload or something and that long barrel is always freaking fire so with past mike and worth 240s guys it's kind of been a love hate thing a lot of them have been really hot or not passing compression that carl rose was pretty durable that power cell it held compression well but it just wasn't that hot and the weighting felt kind of light for us and part of me thinks this might be the beginning of some new tech for mike and slash worth slash easton now since that merger uh, this is not something a lot of people would notice, but when I got these bats in, I noticed uh, the wrapper and especially like the wrapping around the knob of the bat was actually Easton packaging. So I think, you know, I'm kind of going out on a limb here, but I think this might be one of the first releases that Mike and Worth and Easton did together when they combined their production and sent this out under the, you know, the entire Mike and Worth Rawlings Easton umbrella. So we'll see if this is different tech, guys. We'll compression test it and everything, give these both a good shot. Maybe this is the comeback for Mike and Worth, folks. Uh, I will say, small knob. Got my little Louisville pyramid grip because these Mike and knobs are too big. I don't hear anybody going, I love how big these knobs are. Said no one ever. And here we go, a much more traditional uh, small knob. Gonna be really, I think, more ideal for like your overlap type of grip or even just hanging a pinky off. But I'm very excited, very optimistic. I want these to do well. These look absolutely incredible. The full ounce DC 41s, long barrel and short barrel. Let's get them on the tester. All right, so first here, we have the short barrel DC 41. So that's pretty high. That's at about 280 compression there. We'll do the other side too. All right, one more here. And yeah, 280 out of the wrapper. Good high compression. That's the highest compression I've seen on any Mike and Worth 240 bat. And we got the long barrel here. Again, that blue line is pass fail. Ooh, that crackle. 280 out of the wrapper. All right, so nice and high for these. Excited to see how it goes. Uh, we'll, we'll beat them up pretty good. Uh, we've got a mix of 44 core, 47 core, and 52 core softballs. So let's get it. All right, so our softballs today, we have a 47 core Evil BP Rocket, a 44 core Dudley Thunder ZN Pro M, and a 52 core Evil BP 52 Plus. All right, starting with the short barrel here, we have 300 feet all around. It's cold, it's like 40 degrees, uh, but we don't have any like stadiums or nothing, nothing like too hard. So let's try this out. Dude, I'm rooting for these, bro. All right, that'll go. Just mix it. Oh, that's a good poke. Wow. Man, I didn't even feel like I got that that well. Oh. What? You knuckled it. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, I knocked it. Boy. All right. Dude, I will say just the weighting and the feel, like, it's crazy how much of a difference that knob makes. Like, it feels amazing. Good sound there. Yep. That's gone. Oh, wow. That was big one. Holy cow. Yeah, there we go. Play the ball. There it is. Wow. Got it. Dude, that's like. That waiting and barrel feels good, man. Exit velo testing at the end of this video. We'll see how that goes. Maybe this bat just gets wiped by something else, but so far it feels pretty good. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right, dude. I can get behind this. Whoa. I can get behind this. There it is. 
There it is. Woo. That is an elite swing. And really keeping an eye out for that like vertical seam that a lot of these short barrels were having early in the year. Nothing so far. Oh, 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 oh that's fair, boys. I think that hooked. Oh, get over the light tower. Oh, boy. Oh, baby. Okay. That's a big pop. That'd be tight if that went out. Oh, hey! No <laughs> that showed straight up. No so, dude, that's like, do you hear that sound? Like, that was more of a pop. Yeah. Like, that That was Start good, bro. All right, let's try the long barrel. All right, we got the long barrel now, the 14-inch barrel. With most bats, I do like the long barrels, like the DeMarini longer barrel Nautilus. I really like those, but I haven't really kind of gotten to fall in love with the, like, the 13 and a half and 14-inch barrel. Mike and Worth baths just almost feels like too much. The weighting's clunky, but the full ounce unload on the DC 41, I loved that last year. So I'll let you know between these two at least. See ya. Oh. <laughs> that was pretty much knuckleball. <laughs> it didn't move. Oh, dude. I like this, bro. <laughs> just immediately. It feels lighter. There it is. That's a knuckleball too, though. That's funky. Hammer. <laughs> Why is that knuckling? Swing too hard. I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! I like this better already. Sweet. Just that waiting. It. Oh, it, I swear, the swing and the feel, like just the weight distribution, and the barrel size feels like the Louisville. We'll see. Yes. <laughs> he's, he's so excited about this bat. He wanted it to be good. But all right, so we'll, we'll do exit velocity testing against the Louisville. And I can't promise it's gonna go well for the Mikan because those Louisville's are stupid hot. But. So the short barrel, you picked it up at first and you're like, that's heavy, bro. It almost has the Josh Riley waiting. Okay. I was getting beat on the hands a ton. Really? In underhand, which is not a good sign. <laughs> oh, that sounded nice. That was a bomb. Woo! That was like a grippy nuke, dude. <laughs> yeah. I've just caught barrel every time. Yeah, I feel like I can do whatever I want with this one so far. Yep. Y'all remember that DC 41 groove? Here we go. Let's see how many we can get in a row. That's gonna go oppo too. Holy crap. That's three. Four. No Light that tower? Ball, bro. Oh. <laughs> that was a horrible pitch. Whew. Oh, dude, I'm excited. Ooh. That went far, too. What? 280 compression. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm excited about this one, man. Please don't break, buddy. That's fine. No way. Keep going. That was deep too. Yeah. That's five. That's five in a row? Yeah. That's six. <laughs> Come on. No way. Smacked it, dude. Almost in the trees. On I, the when's the last time I picked a long barrel over a short barrel? I guess like the Nautilus, I like the long barrel more, but. Dude, last year when we did the, the orange Mach 1 versus the long barrel DC-41, I like the orange Mach 1 better, but with the new 240 design or whatever, man, I definitely prefer the long barrel. This feels awesome. Just that weighting's perfect. Dude, I'm a believer. That's seven. Oh, buddy. That's a bomb. You like it that bad? Yes. Oh, it's a line drive. Dang. I got seven. <laughs> Seven's a good number. Seven. I, and I maybe threw you two strikes in that sequence. <laughs> Ooh. Dude, just That's get some backs. The ball's going to go so far. 
Yeah. Oh my lord. Oh buddy, I love it. Everything positive. Let's compression test it. That's the only thing that could go wrong, but just feeling it and the sound, like no chance this is failing. Like, no. This is holding compression very well. Not even close. All right, folks, moment of truth. Uh, we took more swings on the long barrel here. Probably, I'd say only like 75 swings, not too many. Started at about 280 compression. So hopefully it doesn't come down too far here. We want our bass to last a long time, right? But also uh, be decently hot. Again, that blue line, uh, 240 PSI is the pass fail mark. We want it to be above that blue line ideally here. And that's right at about 260, 265. Still passing compression by a good 20 or so, 20 plus points right there, guys. Uh, whatever tweak they made with that Easton merger, I mean, that knob was a huge change. The full ounce end load weighting and just the feel of the barrel and the weighting, honestly, was really, really good on this bat. Uh, really good job, guys. Like, I, I, best Mike and Worth bat I've swung in a minute in the 240 space, hands down. This feels great. The weighting's great. The handle's great. Uh, no durability concerns. I'll show you the barrel even closer here. And here's a full look at the barrel, folks. Um, I'm not seeing anything to bat an eye at. All right, so a few less swings on this uh, short barrel, 12 and a quarter inch. And yep, 275 compression. So that barrel even budged. Really, really solid there. So guys, uh, I'm personally not a huge fan of kind of that extreme end load feel. Uh, but if you were a big fan of the Freak 9R Josh Riley, I guarantee you will absolutely love this short barrel DC-41. It's essentially going to be a Freak 9R that's a little more durable, folks. So uh, if that's what you're looking for, this thing absolutely bangs. But for me and Tristan, and uh, I, I would assume for a lot of you guys out there, this is it. I love this bat. This is the best Mike and Worth bat I've swung in the 240 space. Uh, let's put it on the Exvilo tester, folks. Let's see what it's got. All right, folks. So moment of truth. We are in here at PDX Eastside Training on the hit tracks. We're going to see if the DC-41 is top five material, folks. But what kind of video would this be if we didn't test it against the GOAT, baby? The Gamer, the Andy Purcell APG2 Genesis 240 from Louisville Slugger. Uh, we'll test what it's at. This is a pretty new one. I bought like five of them so I can use them. Put my money where my mouth is. So let's compression test this guy. This was at about 265. So this guy's only got about 50 swings on it. And that's at right at about like, yeah, right on 275 right there. So this is about 10 points higher in compression, but I mean, it's our current number one. So we'll cut the DC-41 some slack here. Let's get it. We're looking for like low 100s here today. 103, 104, 105. One oh two four. One oh three. Ooh. Goodbye, baseball. That's pretty far. Higher home run trajectories with backspin like that, though, is usually a little bit lower exit velo. You want to kind of hit it on a line, like a good high line drive. Yo. Perfect, perfect right there. Holy crap. All right, that's good. All right, now we got the mic in DC-41. Guys, I promise you I will be swinging with everything I have right here. Oh, come on, baby. Better. Nope. Okay, it's so freaking good. It's just not the best. Nope. Back to the Louisville for one. That's definitely a top five bat. I don't I just don't think it's gonna take over the number one spot. 1044. Come on, DC. Dude, that's super good, 103.6. Just that Louisville's higher compression and it's beating it, folks. That is the undisputed best bat in U-Trip 240 right now. I will say, like, if there was any red flag about these Louisville bats, 
is some of them are breaking kind of early. Like if you use it in cold weather, this is not going to be the most durable bat ever. If you use it right, it's going to stay nice and durable. Uh, this seems like a nice and durable bat. This is freaking no signs of wear. It's holding compression really well. All right, so looking at our top five, that's number one for sure. Um, this, this is hotter than the Sun Coast and the Pure. I, I think so, and it just feels better to swing. I think it's a more forgiving barrel, and I think it holds compression just as well as the Pure. I think I gotta go this over both of those. This or the Easton, this holds compression better than the Easton. I like the feedback better than the Easton. And I think it might be even hotter than the Easton. The DeMarini is just as hot as this, if not hotter. This is ready to go sooner, and it still holds compressions uh, pretty well. The DeMarinis take a long time to break in, and the feedback and the feel is, I think, better on this, probably. Oh, this and like the Davis Bellardello Barney DeMarini are like right there, neck and neck, folks. So it's really tough for me to tell. I think for now, I'm gonna keep the Di Marini in the two spot. Um, I'm gonna have to do uh, this versus that Davis Bellardello Di Marini showdown to see which one I like more. So I think I can safely put this in the number three hole for right now. Uh, easy top five bat, this thing's freaking awesome. So thanks for hanging out guys. Uh, you can always check out our top uh, U-Trip and ASA rankings over at slowpitchbatbros.com where you'll find our merch as well if you wanna help support us. If you liked the video, if it helped you out, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.